What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited because it has been exactly one year since I started to better my life and cut out a lot of things. So the main thing that I've cut out this past year was soft drinks in general, anything like that, Pepsi's, Coke, anything in between. I just cut all of that out because at the time, I think I've explained this last year whenever I made the video where I said that I've cut all of this stuff out. Uh, back whenever I got my first job back in the 11th grade in the summers when I started so in the summer I was full-time and I would take one can of Pepsi or Coke or whatever I had at home I would take one can in the morning so I'd go in at 9 o'clock my lunch was at 2 I would finish it off before my lunch I'd have a second can on my lunch time uh, and then I come back for two hours so from 3 to 5 I'd have a third can and then usually that night whenever I'm just at home relaxing I'd have another can so over that summer, whenever I first got my job back in the 11th grade, I'd have four cans of Pepsi a day. That was a lot, and I'm kind of ashamed uh, that it was that high. And I just, for some reason last year, um, I wanted to cut a lot of that out of my life. I don't know exactly, I can't remember exactly what happened back then, what happened a year ago that made me want to do this. Maybe it's just me, maybe it was just me wanting to feel better. Maybe it was just me wanting to maybe lose weight. I don't know exactly why I decided this, but I did. And I didn't think I could honestly do it because I, like I said, at the time, uh, close to whenever I, a year ago, whenever I cut them out completely, I basically cut cold turkey. I wasn't advised to or anything, I just did it. And at the time I was still drinking one can a day at least. So I was drinking it quite often, so I didn't think I'd be able to do it. So a couple weeks into it, haven't had anything to drink and I felt, I was getting, I was feeling a lot better basically. And I just for some reason loved that feeling of having a little bit more energy um, as you guys know, because I've mentioned recently that I have fibro and it helped that out a little bit more. Now with fibro, I still get tired at times, but it's not like it was whenever I was drinking soda. A couple weeks into cutting it out a year ago, I ended up pouring Pepsi for my parents, brought it into them, and then I poured a sip for myself to try it. And I knew myself that I would likely be going back into it, like kind of like a relapse, but I tried a sip of it. And this was all a year ago. This was about two weeks after I cut it out cold turkey. I tried it again and I honestly couldn't stand the taste. It was disgusting to me. I instantly spit it out and I never tried it again since. Haven't had a sip, haven't even wanted a sip, which is weird for me because I was wanting, like I said, a can a day. That's what I was used to. And cutting it out cold turkey, didn't think I could do it. But if I can do it, Anybody, in my opinion, can do it as long as you have the right mindset and you want to do it. If you don't want to do it, you're obviously not going to and you're going to fail. But if it's something that you feel like you want to do, you can do it. I cut it out cold turkey, didn't think I could. And right now is one year since I cut it out. This past year, I made a video before about one month after cutting it out. And I remember uploading that one and mentioning that I just felt better, felt more energy. I felt healthier in a way it's way better now that it's one year since i've cut it out no soft drinks or anything in one year now what i drink mostly now is regular juices like apple juice orange juice stuff like that occasionally a lot of water i drink a lot of water now which is something i wasn't used to but it's more hydrating it's more refreshing than having a pepsi i'm drinking a water i'm drinking about the eight glasses that you're supposed to a day. So I would say I'm easily doing that and I'm able to do that. I've also been drinking uh, iced tea, which in the US you guys call it sweet tea. If there's any Americans watching this, um, that's a little bit different than what you guys classify as sweet tea. I don't know how to describe it, but I've been drinking that um, because that even has way less sugar than soft drinks way less sugar, way less calories. I've even been drinking Gatorade more. I used to only drink Gatorade when I was sick. Now I drink Gatorade almost regularly and water more than anything, but 
I'm at least once, maybe twice a week drinking Gatorade because that is way less sugar and calories than in Pepsi and soda and Coca-Cola or anything carbonated like that. So to me, it was almost like I didn't like the dark sodas mainly because those felt heavy on me. Whenever I was drinking sodas, I just felt heavier. Whenever I cut them out, I just felt better. I felt like I had more energy. I felt like I was able to do more. I was able to sleep more. Now, fibro has affected my sleep a little bit more now, but if I was still drinking Pepsis, it'd be way worse than it is right now. So all in all, it has helped me out more than I thought it would for just cutting something like that out. Um, I'm going to be doing more. Back then, I was drinking smoothies quite a bit. Now, I haven't been, but I've been replacing it with other stuff. I've been eating a lot healthier than I once was. So I'm extremely happy with that. I'm happy with my progress this, pa this past year. I, will, I do want to say that I do drink ginger ale only when I am sick because that is one of the few things when I'm sick that I'm able to drink. I haven't been sick this past year too, surprisingly. Uh, I don't know if it has anything to do with cutting out soft drinks and soda and stuff like that. But for me, I used to get sick in the winter at least two, maybe three times. This past year, I haven't been sick once. No cold, no flu, maybe like a sore throat occasionally, maybe like a runny nose, stuff like that. But no, I haven't had a cold. I haven't had a flu. I haven't had anything like that. So to not be sick, like sick, sick, I don't know if it has anything to do with cutting out sodas or anything like that. But um, I feel amazing. So occasionally when I'm sick, I do have Gatorade because that's usually what I always drink. Ginger ale because I need that carbonation whenever I'm sick. But ginger ale is healthier than having Pepsi or anything else. And I only drink it when I'm sick. So since I haven't been sick this past year, I haven't had any or needed to have any. But that's the only soft drink I will have moving forward in the future. Only when I'm sick or maybe Thanksgiving, Easter, or Christmas. Because we usually have that mixed with grape drink, which is amazing. So that's the only soft drink I drink now. So I'm extremely happy with my progress now. As you guys know, because I've mentioned before, I am hoping to get into the border really soon. I have to pass a fitness test, medical, pressure test, a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to have to get in more shape than I am now. At least the minimal is I'm going to have to start running more. I have to get my endurance up to be able to pass one of these tests. So by me cutting out soda a year ago, it's very accomplishable. Me getting through the border stuff and passing the fitness tests and that because I just feel a lot better. I have a lot more energy and I'm able to do more than I once was. So for me, cutting out soft drinks... A year ago it was well worth it. I would recommend it to anybody, not necessarily if you want to lose weight, because I haven't seen much weight loss since, because I've still been eating the same. Scratch that. I haven't been eating the same. I've been eating healthier, but same amounts pretty much. I used to eat a bag of chips. I, I used to be able to eat a bag of chips a night. Now I have maybe a bowl of chips once a week, and usually lately it's been with a bowl of salsa, so... My mom makes homemade salsa, which is healthier than the store-bought salsa. So that's what I've been doing. But I eat a lot better now. But for me, it feels like I'd be able to nail this out. So I haven't seen any weight loss this past year, but I've felt a lot better. So if you're somebody that wants to feel a lot better, if you do drink sodas and drink them quite a bit, it might be something that you might want to consider cutting out. And it might help you. It's going to be hard at first. Like I said, I two weeks into it, I tried or not tried I took a sip of Pepsi but I just didn't like the taste I hated it I thought it was disgusting spit it out right away never tried it again since so if you cut it out for a little while maybe that'll have the same effect for you which might make it easier for you moving forward but anyways I'm super excited that's been one year since I cut out soft drinks I feel a lot better and I'm going to continue doing this moving forward I'm not going to be having any soft drinks I don't even plan on it. I don't even want it anymore I just drink water Iced tea occasionally and Gatorade. That's the main thing I drink. Juice and that too, but water is what I like the most now, which is surprising. But I just want to—I just wanted to make this video because it has today been exactly one year since I cut it out. I kind of wanted to give you guys an update, so I am gonna leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope this has helped you guys uh, understand minimal, minimally uh, what you can expect one year after cutting it out. Not much weight loss unless you cut out 
your eating habits as well, but you do feel a lot healthier. So I'm going to leave this video here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.